Left the keys in the ignition last night, or left the... Yeah. Well, I slept just in the corner of this nice, quiet, free car park in Brandon, just outside Bedford Forest, so... It's, that's what I like, just... It plugs in, no worries, other cars parked around. That lady there who works at the leisure centre rolls up smoking a fag, just drops it on the floor. Can never get over it. I was in Thailand travelling with some of my friends and we had organised a boat trip on the ocean and um, one of the people at the harbour just chugs a can of coke tosses it straight into the sea I'll never forget it I was I was shocked and um, it still it still shocks me when I see just people just tossing trash around But this is quite a sweet spot for me because you have the deep forest, you have the small villages with easy parking and nice amenities. I just did a little workout on the playing fields at the uh, leisure centre. And, um, and you have Thetford, which I need to go to later for reasons that will be disclosed. Uh, like that. Back in the forest. A lot of fighter jets today. Some military bases nearby. When I was a junior consultant, I did a project with the Ministry of Defence looking at their inventory of equipment, trying to make savings from it, and it's extraordinary how much old, defunct, unused equipment they have. I mean, defence, the military, war, it's one of the most wasteful enterprises you can imagine. This extremely technical, expensive, bespoke equipment trying to be engineered for very unpredictable, ever-changing environments and it just it just piles up and piles up and they just had like, just billions and billions of pounds of equipment that had never been used or could, is no longer relevant and um, yeah, it's just it's you can't imagine how much how much waste and that's just on the industrial side if you look at the waste in terms of what it's actually used for the destruction and uh, it's it's bizarre you wouldn't believe it was true if it wasn't if it wasn't in front of us um, What a weird looking tent.
well I'm hoping this rugged path leads to a bridge across the railway. There's the path, okay. Hi mate, have you got any um, golf gear, like golf balls or two? Yeah, the golf section right hand side of the corner. Cool, thank you. All oh, right, okay. No warm up. Taking another. That is utter filth. On the great. These are probably the nicest greens I've ever seen, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy my round. Catch you on the back nine. Nice to have a shower, and that was a very nice course. Quite long, narrow in places, sloping greens. It was a humbling afternoon, to be honest. But golf is a humbling sport. You're constantly reminded that you're not as good as you think you are. Other walks of life, you can get away with it for years, lifetimes. People just getting away with it, no hiding out there.
but um, enjoyable nonetheless. Um, where does one park overnight in Swatham? Let's go find out. Alright, this is Swatham. Looks interesting enough. Well, I'm going back to Thetford Forest. It's only half an hour. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Oh. Tottenham are playing this evening, I just realised. This cursed team that... Honestly. It's forced me out of bed at 2 or 3 a.m. when I was in China and Thailand and Philippines and wherever else. I've gone to incredible lengths and they just give me so little in return and there's no 4G here, so I'm gonna... Head over to the... <sighs> don't know what I honestly don't know why I bother. But I can't. Something compels me to watch it. I'm at Brandon Leisure Centre and um, not much more to say about it really. five goals from corners in their last six games, including two in the North London derby. Only the bottom four have conceded more goals from the pieces. <laughs> Both coaches know that this is a game they did. 